Hello and welcome to our video on, The Way to Building a Sense of Self-Empowerment. In this video, we will be discussing the steps you can take to cultivate a stronger sense of self-empowerment in your life. Self-empowerment means having the confidence and ability to take control of your life, make your own decisions, and pursue your goals with passion and purpose. Let's get started. Step 1. Define Your Values The first step towards building self-empowerment is to define your values. What do you stand for? What beliefs do you hold dear? What do you want to achieve in your life? By defining your values, you can align your actions and decisions with your core beliefs and create a sense of purpose in your life. For example, if you value creativity, you might set a goal to take a painting class or start a new hobby that allows you to express your creativity. Step 2. Set Goals The second step is to set goals. Once you have defined your values, you can start to set achievable goals that align with those values. Whether your goal is to learn a new skill, start a business, or improve your health, having a clear target to work towards can help you stay motivated and focused. For example, if you want to improve your health, you might set a goal to exercise for 30 minutes a day and eat a balanced diet. Step 3. Take Action The third step towards building self-empowerment is to take action. It's not enough to simply define your values and set goals. You need to take action to achieve those goals. This can involve stepping out of your comfort zone, taking risks, and being persistent in the face of obstacles. For example, if you want to start a business, you might need to network with potential clients or investors, create a business plan, and work long hours to get your business off the ground. Step 4. Learn from failure. The fourth step is to learn from failure. Failure is an inevitable part of life, and it's important to recognize that setbacks and mistakes are opportunities to learn and grow. By reframing failure as a learning experience, you can cultivate resilience and become more self-aware. For example, if you start a new job and make a mistake, you might take the opportunity to reflect on what went wrong and how you can improve in the future. Step 5. Celebrate Success The fifth and final step is to celebrate success. It's important to acknowledge and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. Celebrating success can help you stay motivated and build self-confidence. For example, if you achieve your goal of exercising for 30 minutes a day for a week, you might treat yourself to a relaxing massage or a night out with friends. Conclusion In conclusion, building a sense of self-empowerment takes time and effort, but it is a worthwhile journey. By defining your values, setting goals, taking action, learning from failure, and celebrating success, you can cultivate a strong sense of self and achieve your full potential. We hope this video has been helpful, and we wish you all the best on your journey towards self-empowerment. Thank you for watching.